When did I start picking up an instrument and playing? Um, my mom gave me piano lessons when I was about five or six years old. Uh, so that was my first um, instrument. And since that time, uh, over the years, I've played um, many different instruments and I've settled on uh, Irish fiddle probably in my late 20s. Do I find it challenging to play Irish music because not a lot of people know about it? Uh, that's a great question. Um, there is a sizable community of Irish musicians in the Boston area and across the country, uh, but it is a more obscure musical genre. Uh, once you start playing Irish music or any other forms of folk music, you find the community. Um, and, and, uh, and it doesn't seem so obscure. How often do you have to practice to maintain your skill level? That's a, that's a difficult question to answer because I have always played daily. Uh, however, you know, I do know other musicians who will go weeks at a time without picking up their instrument. I think the most important thing is to have a solid foundation uh, and to achieve a certain skill level and then you can sort of play um, at your leisure, but I, I prefer to play every single day. What's my favorite song to play? Um, well, in Irish music we call them tunes because a song is a musical form where people sing. In the type of music I play, there's no singing. Um, so there are lots of different tunes. The thing about Irish traditional music, as we call it, is there are hundreds and hundreds, possibly thousands of tunes uh, that have been handed down over the years. This music was never written down, um, so it's, um, it's, it's taken all shapes and, and forms. Um, I could name probably a hundred tunes that, that are uh, in my top uh, favorite list to play. Who is my uh, musical idol, my, you know, one of my favorite musicians? It would depend on the genre. You know, I, I'm a big fan of rock and roll, so I love, you know, the Beatles, Paul McCartney, and John Lennon. But uh, when we talk about Irish music, there are lots of uh, Irish fiddle players, Tommy Peoples, uh, John Carty, and, and uh, Kevin Burke, and people like those who, you know, the general population may not have heard of, but that I know just from, from playing music. How would I convince um, a young person to look into playing uh, Irish music as opposed to something more popular or more more contemporary. Um, I would first say that they have to go out and see the music for themselves. You know, the thing that inspired me to play Irish music was walking past a pub in Ireland many, many years ago and uh, looking in and seeing two young people playing fiddle. And uh, for me, that was like seeing a rock and roll concert for the first time. It was just amazing. Who encouraged me to be a musician? Um, my mother, yeah, because she's the first. She's the one that first got me into piano lessons. However, my dad uh, is a musician and he's a fine guitarist, so I already had um, that example. So this is a violin, a fiddle and a violin, um, there's no difference between them. Uh, people who refer to a fiddle are usually talking about um, people who play uh, folk music. Violins are pretty standard. Uh, this is a fingerboard, four strings, um, G, D, A, E, uh, fine tuners on this side to tune the strings. Uh, less fine tuners here to uh, to tune them as well. Uh, this piece right here is called a shoulder rest. Uh, some people use a shoulder rest, some don't. Um, it helps to support the violin and allows you to um, take some of the pressure off your hand from holding up the neck. Uh, this right here, this piece right here is called a chin rest, simply where you put your chin when you play. Uh, the bow 
is made out of uh, wood and this is actually horse hair and what you do is you um, rub a block of rosin which they get they get from trees it's basically hiding tree sap if you didn't have rosin let's see if you can see it here it's it's white chalky substance if you didn't have rosin on the bow you could not produce a sound from the violin um, and that technology was discovered uh, hundreds and hundreds of years ago string instruments I think came from originally the Far East um, the Iran etc so so that's the history